This user says, which cameo is better, Sub or Frost? And in my humble professional opinion, I think that Sub-Zero is the better cameo. And let me explain why. Frost gives you the low freeze and that's good for Mix, sure. But in reality, compared to Sub-Zero, that's mostly all she offers. She allows you to do corner combos from anywhere on screen and that's, uh, that's cool. But I'm not always relying on corner combos. I can do mid-screen combos uh, anytime. Doing corner combos whenever isn't worthy trade-off utility compared to what Sub-Zero as a cameo offers. Her ice crash move does have some vulnerability when used as a get up, and that can look like this. And that's a great utility, sure. But again, overall, Sub Zero is just better. As you know, Sub Zero as a cameo also offers a freeze move so that you can like set up for traps or combos or whatever. He allows you to be projectile and vulnerable with the ice armor, and I love that. That is an amazing utility that nobody really utilizes a lot. To become invulnerable to projectiles, thus zoners, is, is, is huge. You can cancel that ice armor into the ice shoulder and become safe on unsafe moves like this. And you even have an ice parry. That is freaking huge for countering. You can cancel that parry into being thrown almost full screen. It's safe on block and it gets you in your opponent's face if you like that. So already Sub-Zero just offers what Frost offers and more. I can't really think of a reason that I would personally use Frost over Sub-Zero. So who's better? Uh, yeah, Sub-Zero. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, subscribe here for more. And even if you didn't, you still should.